Hello and welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. The sun is beginning to creep in on here, but hopefully we'll be able to finish this before you end up having vision problems. This is the Pata de Elephant, which you can't see at all. But, uh, anyways, it's this, a box press. It is a box press. It only comes in a 5.5 by 54 torpedo. Um, box press, right? Torpedo box press. Uh, potted the elephant means essentially the foot of the elephant, and there are two different styles. This is the Rubia, which is the Connecticut version. Uh, it does not say what the fillers are, but it is made in the Dominican Republic, so I assume that this is Dominican fillers. Uh, horrible that there's not much info on this. The one thing that there is says that these have taken Europe by storm, and now we finally get to try them here. I somewhat doubt that. Pata di Elefante. Yes, Elefante. It's French. But, from my understanding of people who have traveled overseas, who are cigar smokers, who have gone to cigar shops over there, almost every cigar shop outside the United States sells pretty much strictly Cubans. And there's very little else to choose from. So, my guess is that these aren't that big in Europe, but CI says they are, so I'll go ahead and play their game, and sure, they're big in Europe. If you live in Europe and you've seen these, let us know if you're a cigar smoker, or if you happen to have traveled there and have seen these, let us know. It'd be curious to know. So without further ado, we'll get into smoking this. Kind I'm of picking a, up a hay scent, just pure hay right now. I'm very sweet though. Kind of a sweet grassy hay. Mostly mild scents. Maybe some mintish. All right, let's get to toasting. First of all, I want to say to Aaron and to you all that from what I understand, $15 a box for these was not bad. Not bad at all. So far, picking up hints of leather and or hay notes. Leatherish, especially on the lips, kind of leaves a bitter leather taste there. Not a lot of smoke output. Now, I'll warn you right now at the beginning of this video, there's a good chance out of my cigar and Rita's cigar both will have some form of construction error and very possibly opposite types. This cigar is extremely persnickety. If you smoke it too slow, it will tunnel, and it will tunnel fast, and it will tunnel bad. If you smoke it too fast, you will have canoes and wonky burns and hangnails everywhere. Uh, and the ash can be very peculiar too. It's almost like pipe tobacco is used in this rather than cigar tobacco. You didn't need to fix that. Not yet. So far so good though. Um, I, I've smoked five of these now. I think this one's my fifth one. First one I had, the ash was almost rock hard, and as I tried to tap the ash off, it, it would flake apart in kind of hard, crispy flakes and just fall. And so I had to constantly ash mine, and it was a crunchy, hard ash, which was just really weird. 
the second one I had uh, seemed not to have that problem anymore. And I've had one that burnt in an hour and 40 minutes and one that burnt like 40 minutes. So it'll, it'll be a good question as to what we will get, actually end up getting out of this cigar. Anything more on the flavors? Nope. So we'll see you in the uh, first third. Yep. See you at the halfway point. Hello, and welcome <laughs> back to the halfway <laughs> point of this Papa de la Font Rubia. I think I pronounced that right. Probably not. Anyways, kind of a creamy, semi rich, um, slightly leathery, slightly nutty flavor, but the cream, I think, comes out the most in this. Um, it's extreme cream. Uh, not necessarily the greatest, but it, it is a unique flavor. Yeah, your thoughts, Rita? Well, as Aaron said, there is some wonky burns to this. My wrapper is now cracking mm. so and peeling up because the seams are right here, but the flavors is leather notes, uh, creaminess, butteriness, um, still that nuts in there. I highly think this is a good value, but that's as far as I would oh, yes. say. Speaking on budget cigars, 15 bucks for 20 of them. Usual price is $19.99. However, CI says, oh, it's $60 a box. $60 my butt for these. Um, They're not for one, 60 Horribly constructed. You can't even see that because of how bright it is right now, but it has stretch marks galore. Uh, it's almost bursting at the seams, and yet there's it's kind of squishy. It's a firm box press with nice sharp edges. You no, know, all I want to say is the veins I'm seeing looks like they've taken pieces, like the diamante filled them in. I mean, if you look here, you got your seam oh, no, there, just you got your seam, and then, well, there you have it. So it's, uh, it's, it's horribly stretched. Um, but the flavors are not horribly bad. This is very clearly a budget stick, though, by all means. Uh, I've had budget sticks that act like fancy sticks. I've had budget sticks that act like budget sticks. But I've had fancy sticks that act like budget sticks. So, uh, I, I can't get too negative on this one for the price. But, I will say, there are far better budget sticks out there. And be very careful doing that. First of all, the cigar feels really dry. And it's not. And sometimes I'm having a problem even getting smoke. And I've got a little bit of a wonky burn going right there. Uh, that is typical to be happening throughout. I'm not going to try to fix this yet. It might fix itself. But, I don't know. I wonder if it's just the outer leaf is too too thick of an outer leaf, and that's why they can stretch it so much, or... I really don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we'll get back to you in the final third of this if you got nothing further to add. No. Nope. Sorry I went in. I just had to get the poker. So, stay tuned for the final third. Oh. Welcome back to the final third of this Puta de Elefant Rubia. Um, and, um, uh, as for the flavors on this, um, Kind of a creamy, leathery still. Uh, the cream is rather strong. Flavor's picked up a bit. There's a bit of pepper and spice now, but not too much. The wonky burns have been a major issue for both of us. We can't keep passing back and forth the lighter. These are lighter killers. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, very, very hard to keep these from doing what they're not supposed to do. Um... I'm not terribly impressed. Uh, I talked about budget sticks earlier. There are budget sticks, and then there are cheap sticks. And this is just cheaply constructed, cheaply crafted, but it has a decent flavor so far. Your thought? In my opinion, for $15 a box, I'd go ahead and try it. Discretion and buyer beware. This thing has just been purely wonky. To, uh, there was canoeings, there's dry shoes, there's um, wonky uh, burns, you know. I'd recommend that if you want to try this because you've got to end up getting a box of them, get 
three buddies or four buddies together and pitch in five bucks each and split the box like four cigars each or five cigars each. That way you're not stuck with 20 of these things. Seriously, they will begin to get to the point that you do not want to smoke them anymore. I don't even think aging them for 10 years will do any damn good. I really don't think so either. Um, it's just a poorly... Really, uh, poor man cigars. This is it. There are better poor man cigars out there. If you need a budget stick, there are much, much better yeah, budget sticks. Yeah, the whole budget banquet for is a damn good deal. Yeah. However, I want to say I'm not affiliated with Holtz, but they have good customer service. Highly recommend them if you haven't. You could probably them. get a box of these on Seabids for four or five bucks, though. I bet. I mean, given that they have a twenty dollar price tag. Uh, you got to figure at least half the price or less on CBIT, so... Yeah, and I would expect them to be going for a dollar a box. This is how bad they are for 20 of them. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd even put in a bid if it was $3 a box, to be honest. So, there you have it. That's our review of I this. I think it's a say. The final part for me oh. is uh, my flavors. Leather and oats, creamy butteriness, uh, light pepper, light spice... Um, the only good thing about this cigar is it's got a good flavor. That's it. Enough said. And it's got a flavor you wouldn't want to smoke too often either. Yes. Even though it's a good flavor, you just wouldn't want to smoke it much. Oh, and we're excited. The first time this year we've gotten the Snowberry Tea. Not that it disappears, it's just not very good during the winter. We love it when it starts getting warm and it's gotten warm out here and the sun's creeping in. So, it was time to go ahead and... Get one of these, and it actually goes well with the cigar. I, I do want to make a joke. Me and Aaron, over the years, drinking this peace tea snowberry is, instead of being an ordinary 24 ounce can, it's 23 ounces because Governor or uh, Mayor Mike Bloomberg, when he was mayor in New York, probably complained about the size, so they cut it down one ounce to make him happy. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Please add and subscribe. Leave us comments, suggestions, feedback, uh, your own thoughts on this if you have tried it. Or Please add and subscribe, post comments, and feedback, that. suggestion. Thank you. May God bless you and all you do. And enjoy, enjoy every puff. puff.